good morning you guys today i'm doing an outreach update for africa this is going to cover january through march of 2022 i'm gaining on it y'all i'm going to keep at it i want you to know about the good works that are being done through this ministry and our outreach ministries we start off with january the 5th and pastor writes god's mercies endure forever during our last week's youth conference at Holy Trinity Living Water Church in Bungoma, we also held powerful open-air crusades. So they went outdoors to spread the gospel, the Great Commission, right? Go into all the world, teaching them what Jesus has taught. He says, we give praises to God for the many souls that accepted Christ Jesus and got saved. Thank you, Jesus. Enjoy the pictures. We appreciate you all, our dear friends and family. We look forward to your continued support and prayers for our ministry work programs in this year, 2022. God's grace is sufficient for 2022 with love, Bishop Erustus and Sarah. So here are the pictures. This is Pastor Erustus, of course, on the left, and Pastor Sarah on the right at the outdoor open-air crusade. This is Pastor Wakisa ministering on the platform here. And look at all the people that came to listen. They just went into the town, into the city, set up their platform, and they're just, you know, uh, preaching the Word of God and praising and worship, and the people start began to gather and come and see what is this all about. And here, you can tell that they're in the city because you can see the big high-rise buildings in the background. And here is the praise and worship team. They brought the drums and the keyboard, and the ladies are on the platform singing to the Lord for His glory. So many people came to listen. And here they are dancing. Here's another picture of the praise and worship team up on the platform. And they're dancing in this picture too. Look at those in the back uh, by the street dancing. This goes all the way back to the street. They really drew the crowds. I praise the Lord Jesus for that, for all the people who came. And look out in this picture, look out by the street and see the guy on the motorcycle. He stopped and there were some that, you know, were on their bicycles and they stopped. They wanted to hear and see what it was all about. They saw this big crowd of people. And you know how it is when you're around in town or you're around somewhere in the community and you see a big crowd of people, you want to know what's going on over there. So they stopped. The people were curious. They saw the crowds, and I praise God that they stopped and they listened to praise and worship and hear about Jesus. Now, in this picture, there are some coming forward for prayer. And here's Pastor Erustus ministering. Now, I want you to notice, too, those big speakers and the amplifiers. And all of you who support this ministry in tithes and offerings and your prayers, you are part of helping to supply what is needed to send Pastor Erustus and Pastor Sarah and their church team out to minister like this. Those things are not cheap. And I praise God that we were able to equip them to get there, to get their voices out and heard to draw the people. And you're all part of that. I praise God for it. Now, this part of the update is going to be on the Maasai land. And remember, that is our newly planted church that Pastor planted that is right at the border of Tanzania and Kenya, right on that border of the Tanzania uh, country. So, I want to, the rest of the update is about that. Now, I want to share some things that I left out of the last update 
about the first trip that Pastor took to the Messiah land. Pastor shared, the mission was very successful. We had two days teaching sessions, night revival sessions, and a very powerful Sunday service. God's power moved so powerfully, touching many lives. And he says, receive greetings, because the churches there are send their greetings to all of us to greet those in the body of Christ who were standing with them in this great work. We're helping them now to have a church there to bring glory to the Lord, to bring souls to the kingdom. So they sent their greetings to all of us from the Messiah land. He said, we had a good time with pastors and the key leaders. We were welcomed with love, and these people for sure love God. It's one of the tribes in Kenya that live in the arid areas. Many have no education, still living the old traditional life, unreached with the gospel, poor, and live a nomadic life. No vehicles. We use motorbikes to move into the villages on very dusty roads where the churches are. We now have four branch churches under our ministry. I give glory to God. So they had uh, their churches set up there. They've come under the headship of Pastor Erustus' ministry now. He says, where the main church is built, it's a rented land. My visitation was fruitful. God touched one of the brothers in the church who donated a four-acre piece of land, and we praise the Lord for that. Thank you, Jesus. Now the leaders decided here is where the headquarters of our ministry will be built for our Messiah land ministry work. It's just next to piped water and a passable road on its lower part. Thank you, Jesus. He was happy the location of it. There is water that's nearby and there's a road, a busy road to help draw the people, right? That also is travel that you can travel because a lot of those roads are hard to travel without any cars and stuff there. He said the other three church uh, branch churches are in different locations in the remote villages. Pastor, tell our team, and I'll extend it to you guys too, he is grateful for your prayers. Our prayers, God hears and answers our prayers, and he is blessing the ministry and growing the ministry there. On January the 10th, he said, praise testimony. We thank God for enabling us to buy 15 plastic chairs for our Holy Trinity Living Water Church at Kimana Messiah Land. So now we were able to get them some chairs, 15 of them. They are holding their services under a tree on the donated four, oh, it's hectares, not not acres. A hectare is different than an acre. We deal in acres here. They deal in hectares there. So they got four hectares. They've been holding services under a tree. He said they need more plastic chairs as God provides. Thank you, Bishop David, for your great support. We are trusting God to provide $960 to enable us to build a church structure on this land where they can hold church meetings safe from the hot sun and rains. Now, here are the pictures. Here they are getting the chairs at the market. And here they are pictured with the chairs. And in this picture, Bishop David is in the middle. He was able to go and tend to this ministry work as Pastor Rustus was too sick to go. He has fought against very hard from going to this land in person. There have been a few trips where uh, the demons attacked Pastor Sarah and Pastor Rustus was not able to go on his planned trip. Bishop David uh, went in his stead and there was another time that Pastor was planning to go and he fell sick. So it's very easy to see that he is being fought from going there to minister and to be with the people in person. I praise God for the few times he has been able to get there physically. So he wasn't able to go on, on this particular time that we're looking at here. Several demonic attacks have been leveled against him and Pastor Sarah to keep him from being able to go in person. 
Now here they are holding church meetings under this tree. And he said, so grateful for the chairs. You know that's a blessing to be able to get up off the ground, right? Here's a short teaching that I want to share from Pastor. He said, are you living according to what is on God's mind and heart? To know God's will and make a decision to walk in that will is the epitome of strength and only safety in this world of rebellion against God. All your good works, all your faithful church attendance and your prayers will mean nothing if at all you are not ready to obey God's will. We need to assess ourselves and deal with those aspects of our life that are out of harmony with the Word of God. Isaiah 30, 20 through 24. Now here's Pastor with some of the children, the little children at his church in Bungoma. That's the headquarter church where he lives. February the 11th, praise testimony. We thank God for providing 70 iron sheets in preparation to erect a church building for our Holy Trinity Living Water Church at Kamana, which is the Messiah land, on the four hectares of land that was donated last year. So we're beginning to get the materials to build that church. We continue to wait on the Lord to provide $760 for the remaining iron sheets, timber, nails, and labor to enable us to start building the structure next month. Thank you all, dear friends, for your continued support and prayers. God bless your weekend. Here is Pastor Erastus with the church leaders and elders on the donated land. Here is more of what Pastor shared from the very first trip to this land. That's the one he did go on. He said, we are also praising God for expanding our ministry to other regions, and indeed it's a blessing for the large amount of land that was donated. God works in ways we don't understand. We had about five people who got saved, and while in Nairobi City, so this was on their travel to the Messiah land, he said while they were in Nairobi, at one of Bishop David's friend's house, one lady, a member of Pastor Elliot's church working in Nairobi, was delivered from demonic powers before we proceeded to the Messiah land. God was already at work on that mission before they ever got to go to the Messiah land on the very first trip to meet those people and plant that church. On their way there, God delivered this lady from demons. Look at that. Praise the Lord Jesus. He said, many were touched with the word we preached. They are hungry for the word and thirsty to know the truth. That, that is what every minister is longing and hoping for, is people that are coming, that are hungry for God's word, that want Jesus Christ in their life, that want to know the truth. So it's a real blessing when we see that. He said, I thank God for leading me to see these people, or to these people. The trip was worthy, and, and it and the memories will remain in our lives. They made a lot of memories there. Here's a picture of this land. It's a hot and dry land. And please keep them in prayer for rain. The last I had talked to Pastor, they hadn't had rain in almost a year. Now, here they are at the market buying the 10 sheets for the church that's going to be built. And a March 12th update, praise testimony. God has enabled us to build a church structure on the Messiah land donated for our Holy Trinity Living Water Church in Caggiato County. This will now protect our brethren from the hot, scorching sun and rains. We are trusting God to provide for the remaining 22 iron sheets, nails, doors, and windows to help us finish up the building. Your prayers and support will be appreciated. Blessed weekend. Now, this praise report, it came one month after the last one where they had gotten the 10. So they first had went and got the 10, and then a month later, 
This is all, all that was lacking was the 22 iron sheets. Look at God's provision. Look what was needed at first and look, look where, where they got to in one month's time. Almost finished. I praise the Lord for that. Praise God. For moving with the provision to be able to get those materials to get that church up. And this is how they transport the wood on motorbikes with trailers attached, like part of the motorbike. This is how they have to drive things around there. And here is the wood has been safely delivered. And this is Bishop David in the blue with some of the workers. So the work has begun making that building that church. And here you can see the church construction is underway. We praise God for it. This picture is showing where they had to go get water. It is piped water. It's not very far from the church land. Now, pastor is hoping in the near future, as God provides, to have piped water fixed on the church land, to have their own water supply there. So we could be praying for that. That will be a blessing. And here you can see the church is coming along nicely. Look how far they've come. You remember the picture sitting out under the tree. Now look, they're having, they're getting their own church building. And here it is, taking a picture of it. They got it all finished. March the 18th. Praise testimony. We serve a faithful God. He has moved and provided for the remaining iron sheets, nails, steel doors, and steel windows for our Holy Trinity Living Water Church in Cajiado County. All those things were provided. This is moving along quickly, you guys. If you follow the timeline, this is happening fast. Now we are done with building the structure. Thank you, Jesus. And you, you can see here, here they are putting the windows in. This is Pastor Simeon. He is the pastor of the church in the Messiah land. He's the pastor of this newly built church. Look at that smile on his face. And here they are finishing up the church. And I see a blue door on it now. And here they are taking a break on the left. And there's Pastor Simeon again on the right. And I praise God for this great work, that all of you are part of these good works that God has us doing here and our outreach ministries are doing. It is a true blessing for them to have a church building to hold meetings in now. And glory to God for this church that has been planted at the border of Tanzania. Please keep them in your prayers. They need rain. Pray for them uh, to be rooted and grounded in God's word and to grow and to keep the faith and to, for the church to grow. Just, you know, pray blessings over them. They are our brothers and sisters in Christ. And I just want to thank you all for being part of these good works. We appreciate your prayers and support. We couldn't do what we do here in this ministry without you. And Pastor Erustus certainly could not do. And Pastor Sarah, they could not do what they do there in Africa without all of you standing with us. And we thank God for you. So thanks for watching. God bless you.